Welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a senior sales engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video I want to show you how to save a lot of money during your demanding BI projects while gaining more agility and flexibility at the same time. This video is based on the experience I made with MicroStrategy while I was involved in many customer POCs and projects. I will focus on demanding enterprise BI projects and not departmental small solutions and I don't cover every single approach but some of the major aspects that helps you to be successful during your project lifecycle. 90% of this video is live so please lay back and let me entertain you. Before we start I want to highlight some of the major challenges that are responsible for projects that are running out of time and budget. Most projects own lots of use cases and this leads to a high solution complexity. In some projects complexity increases over time and in most cases it's very difficult to manage this demanding situation. Performance is always a showstopper and the more complex a solution is the more likely it is that we have to deal with performance issues as well. In our modern world an end user wants to consume a solution on any device and platform and he can't understand why the company should invest the same budget again just in order to mobilize a solution. And the question is now, how can MicroStrategy help to make these demanding BI projects successful? MicroStrategy is so powerful and flexible that you can address these challenges very easily and I want to introduce some of the approaches to get this managed. First, split project complexity in manageable pieces and optimize every single piece or object on its own. It's very important to install a kind of plug-and-play use case architecture. With this architecture, your use cases can grow over time and you're able to optimize performance based on use cases and not for all technical objects at the same time. One of the greatest benefits of MicroStrategy is the ability to manage multi-devices and platforms automatically, but you need to know how to feed MicroStrategy so that this feature works great for you. Please always keep in mind that a successful BI approach is an approach that can grow over time with the capability to address use cases and demanding requirements that you don't think about today. You can handle this only with a modular solution design. I want to introduce this design approach during the next live demos. This is a solution called Corporate Navigator and I developed this solution together with Deloitte. It's a growing framework and I don't know today how many business coherences I want to include until next year. The solution covers many different use cases that are relevant for top managers and the key figures are independent from industry sectors in most cases. Each use case owns an entry point in the corporate overview starting page and this entry point leads to a specific MicroStrategy document that covers this use case. Within this document, let's say portfolio comparison, the performance and user experience is optimized. The corporate overview starting page is designed as a MicroStrategy document as well and targets the other documents that represent the use cases. The advantage from this approach is that you don't have to put all the features for all use cases into one single dashboard document that would be difficult to maintain. On the other hand, several dashboard designers can work in parallel on different use cases and all of them can be linked together with a starting page. Each document has only the data sets it needs and it's possible to optimize performance very individually with this approach. From an end user's perspective, the solution looks as one single dashboard and the overall performance is great. But before you start, you have to think about a dynamic menu structure that can grow over time. But even if you have to invent a completely new navigation structure after the first version of the project, it's very easy to redefine the links to the use case documents. It's absolutely flexible and now you have the possibility to define more than one navigation path between your use cases as this makes sense in several situations. Right now you're watching the mobile version of the solution. But to be honest, we don't have a mobile version at all. We have just one single version of our documents and this version runs on mobile, in web, offline and fully interactive in PDF and even fully interactive in Office products like Excel. You don't believe me? Please follow the video a little bit longer as I explain how to configure MicroStrategy right in order to achieve this goal. 
What you see here is a very special use case and it makes much sense to develop this use case in a single separated document. This value driver tree works with transaction services and offers simulation capabilities for main key figures and their relationships. You can see in this video that I included a lot of different use cases that use different microstrategy capabilities and it makes sense to combine all of them with a flexible plug and play use case architecture that can grow over time. If you want to keep it dynamic and if you don't want to adjust menu items on many documents with every new use case, you can follow these tips. Use panel stacks with many different panels for your dynamic menu on the starting page. Use the new button control as these controls run great on mobile, web, PDF and Office in the same way. The other advantage is that the button control indicates the status button pressed on mobile and shows even a hover effect in web. Don't integrate the complete menu on every single MicroStrategy document. Just integrate a home button to the main menu. Use direct links to other documents if a jump from one use case to another use case makes sense. You can pass your analysis context between those documents. In this dashboard you can see that you can invent your own graph types with MicroStrategy. This is not a standard graph. Now I swiped through the dynamic menu on the starting page and new use cases came up. If you want to integrate videos, PDFs or other files and if you want to read them dynamically from SharePoint, this can be done as well. What about the performance? Do you think it's fast? You can make it even faster if you work in offline mode and you can use this feature out of the box if you follow the design rules that are introduced in some minutes. Ok, I think now it's time to talk a little bit about money. I said you can save a lot of money with MicroStrategy and I showed you so far how you can manage complexity in your project lifecycle so that your projects don't run out of budget. But you can save even more money if you don't have to start again with the development of your solution if you want to use it in a different environment. And this is even true if you're using very special graph types like dual access waterfalls or very specific customer segmentation graphs. In order to prove this, we will have a look at the same solution in web and not mobile. And now let's start the solution in web. My mouse pointer indicates that this is not a trick. It's absolutely the same solution with the same documents, but we need to consider some important aspects to make it work in that way. Most important is the fact that you should use MicroStrategy standard graph types that run on any device and are not specific for mobile as an example. If you want to use a graph that runs only on mobile, you can do that, but then you have to think about what you will show in web. You can even handle this difficult situation with MicroStrategy and without the need to duplicate the document. MicroStrategy has a very powerful approach called mobile views and with that approach you can manage what objects you would like to show based on your device and screen resolution. With this approach you can rescale your objects and adjust them based on specific screen resolutions and you can differentiate between mobile and web. This means that this approach is important for web as well. If you want to run your documents pixel perfect in web and mobile at the same time based on one single document. I will show you how to configure that mobile views approach later. If you are familiar with web programming and cascading style sheets, you might heard about media queries and responsive design. Mobile views is very similar but more powerful as it can be used in a native app and not just in an HTML container. In this value driver tree I used mobile views because the slider controls are very different in size in web and mobile. Okay. I just want to complete the demo in web in order to show you that even special graph types that you invent on your own can be shown in the same way without additional formatting. As long as you watch the rest of the web demo, I want to tell you something very important about selectors. Selectors can work in two major modes. In the default mode, the iServer filters the data and you need a connection to the iServer to make that run. In the second mode, the data is available pre-sliced in the document itself and with that version, the document can run completely offline in mobile, PDF and Office. This is the key for our success if you want to offer the best user experience. 
You can't use this approach in any case, but in most cases it fits perfectly. Ok, and now I would like to show you something unbelievable. So stay tuned and watch the next minutes. This is a PDF file. For sure it's a PDF file and it's not very big, just some megabytes. But if you open that file with Acrobat Reader, it's magic and our solution runs offline in that PDF file, but fully interactive. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw that. What you see now are the same documents you saw before, but all of them are linked together in one single document, using multiple layouts. This document was exported to PDF with all the data combined in it. This technology uses Flash, embedded in PDF, and what you see is a completely offline running Qt mini microstrategy in one PDF file. Even the info windows work in that offline mode. As I navigate through the layouts you see the same documents you saw before, but now they are running in Flash within a PDF file. I was often asked how big this file could be. This is not critical, as the file needs the data only on that level of aggregation that is needed for the grids and graphs. The selectors work in pre-sliced offline mode. With that the data is prepared perfectly for that offline dashboard. If you want to distribute that dashboard via MicroStrategy distribution services on a regular basis you can even do that. And now it's time for my last example. The same dashboard in Office. In my example I use Excel. MicroStrategy has a lot of options to include its objects and content in Office applications. This is only one example. You get the same user experience you saw before and you can update the dashboard with just one mouse click directly within Excel. I think now you can understand how you can save a lot of time and money and manage complexity more efficient with that modular approach that is based on use cases and not technology objects. In the last part of that video I want to show you how to configure some of the main aspects. Define a folder structure that can grow with your demands. Each folder represents a use case or analysis topic. Configure the selectors in that way that they work in pre-sliced mode. Grids and graph can work as selectors as well, so you need to configure them too. You can activate mobile views in the tools menu bar. The first view is the default or web view. The second can be a mobile view. You can define as many as you like. Your objects in the document are not cloned with a new mobile view, but you can adjust their position and size, or you can make them visible or not. The management of the visibility of controls is important if you want to show a control only in one view and not the others. If you want to provide a total for a selector, you can activate that feature, because the All option is not suitable in pre-sliced filter mode. And now I switch between two mobile views in that document. Please watch the label Risk Portfolio in the dashboard. Based on the selected mobile view, it changes its position. The interactive and offline PDF file is generated by a document with many layouts, and each layout uses a document we defined before, so we can reuse our documents for that multi-document PDF folder file. It's possible to configure that document in that way that it generates the PDF file when it opens automatically, and you can even distribute it via MicroStrategy distribution services. I hope you enjoyed that little video. The approach I showed you helped me a lot during my projects and it helped my consulting colleagues as well to manage complex, dynamic enterprise BI projects. Only MicroStrategy as a vendor is able to do that and the reason for that is the unified metadata abstraction layer from MicroStrategy. That single version of the truth for all metadata objects that is used all over the platform. Build it once and let it run anywhere. That's our mission. 
If you have any questions or if you want to dive a little bit deeper in MicroStrategy's capabilities to build modular and scalable apps for mobile and web that run in both worlds, please send me an email and I'll send you a PDF file that explains the multiple aspects to optimize the solution in more detail. I wish you all the best. Bye.